Hi everyone, Fundamentals of Logic. In this video, we will see the meaning and applications of the fundamentals of logic and the propositional logic and also uh, the basic concepts in logic and we will also see the logical connectivities and the truth table. First, we will see what is the meaning of fundamentals of logic. A logic is a study of reasoning and argumentation. It provides a systematic framework for analyzing and evaluating the statements to determine their validity and the truth. The rules of logic gives the precise meaning to the mathematical statements. These rules are used to distinguish between the valid and invalid mathematical arguments. It will distinguish between the valid and invalid mathematical arguments. And the logic has the numerous applications to computer science. These rules are used to design the computer circuits and the constructions of the computer programs and the verification of the correctness of the programs and in many other ways. And the area of logic that deal with the propositions is called as a propositional logic and the which in which area it's deal with the propositional that area is called as a propositional logic okay and the fundamental logic which area deals with the propositions is called as a propositional logic okay in the basic concepts in a logic the proposition proposition means the proposition is a declarative statement that is either true or false but not both okay for example here the sky is blue it, may, it is either true or false, but not both here. The sky is blue. Yes, it is a true. It is a true statement. 2 plus 2 equals to 5. It is a 5. It is a false. So, it is a false statement. That meaning is proposition is a declarative statement. Okay. Then it is. it may be either true or false, but not both. Next thing we need to know here, that is the truth value. What is the meaning of truth value means? Each proposition has a truth value. Either it may be true or false. Either it is true or false. Okay, any one of this. And propositional logic. Propositional logic deal with the propositions and their combinations using logical connectivities. Okay, the first one is here, atomic proposition. Atomic pro proposition means it is a single or indivisible indivisible proposition that meaning it has a only one statement and it may it's not possible to divide again it is a raining it is a indivisible proposition okay the earth is round it is a single say other you can call it a single otherwise indivisible indivisible proposition that meaning is it's not possible to divide that is a one one st one single statement it is a raining. The compound proposition means it is a formed by the combining the atomic proposition, combining the atomic propositions using the logical connectives. You using the logical connectives. The logical connectives are here and or not etc. Okay. The logical connectives uh, and the truth table here. What is the meaning of logical connectives? We will see here. We can combine the propositions to produce a new proposition by using the word like not and if and only if or etc. Such a words are called as the logic connective connectives. Logic connectives means it is a used to combine the propositions to form a new proposition. It is called as a logical connectives. Example here not and if and only if the examples also are given here the first proposition it's a single it's a single otherwise you can call it as an atomic proposition here they have two atomic proposition combining we will get here compound proposition the first one is a it is raining it is a single proposition i am carrying an umbrella i am carrying an umbrella it's a single proposition combining these atomic proposition we will form a compound proposition it is raining and I am carrying an umbrella. Here and is the connective connectives. It is a logical connectives. It is called as a logical connectives. And uh, for the example, uh, example for the compound proposition, you can tell it is a, it is a raining and I am carrying an umbrella. It is for the compound proposition also. And you are using here which uh, the connective here and okay we will move to next the logical connectives there are here there are five logical connectives here negation conjunction disjunction and conditional and biconditional 
here um, in the table they we i explained here in detail and uh, using the two propositions here p and q be the two proposition p is here i am in a maths class and q is here i am at a college okay first is the first proposition is here negation negation and the symbol how, how to write here in a symbolical form it is a negation it is a negation sign we, we can read it as here not it is a symbol and it is read how to read it is a not and the symbolical form how to write here it is a p is a proposition over so you have to write negation p it is a reverse the truth value of a proposition it is a gives the reverse of the truth value if it is suppose it is p is a true then negation of p means it, is a, it will come false that meaning is reverse the truth value of a proposition means reverse true will become a false false will become true example here i am i am not in a maths class p is here i am in a maths class negation of p means i am not in a maths class it is an example next is the conjunction conjunction means it is a we denoted by the this symbol this symbol is called as the and we have to we need to read here and p and q p and q it is a it is just like a reverse v v it's a reverse v if you write in a reverse v it is called as the and this is the symbol for the conjunction the true if it is true when it is true means if both the propositions are true then only it is a true okay i will show in truth table afterwards it is true when if both the propositions are true then only it is true okay here i am in maths class and i am at a college here which is the connective here that is the and i am in a maths class and i am at a college it is called the conjunction disjunction disjunction means it is a symbol is here v v v and it is read it as how to read is a or p or q we have to read is here p or q when it is true true if at least one proposition is true at least one proposition means p otherwise q any one of them is true means it is a the disjunction will become here true the example here i am in maths class or i am at college here the connective here or next one is conditional conditional it is called as a if then it is a if then we have to like arrow mark it is show with the arrow mark okay p if then q it is false when it is false false only if the first is true first is true means first proposition is true and the second is false q is p is true and after that q is false means it will come false otherwise rest all are true only the example is here if i am in maths class then i am at a college it is an example okay p is here i am in a maths class and q is here i am at a college if you are using the connective means if i am in a maths class then i am at a college okay the last one is here by conditional by conditional we have to show with the two arrow mark this this is read at a, as a if and only if how to read means it is a if and only if p if and only if q the it is true if both the propositions have the same value same value means both the p are true means it is a true otherwise both the p and q are false means it is a true otherwise it is a false okay and the example is here i am in a maths class if and only if i am at a college this is the examples for the logical connectives and then now we will see the truth table okay you description you remember this one so using the description only we will uh, write the truth table okay it is the first one is negation is reverse here conjunction is true when if both the propositions are true and disjunction means it is true at least one proposition is true here the conditional means when it is only false when means for the first is true and the second is false and the biconditional means true if both the proposition have the same value okay we will see here it is a truth table i took here three propositions p q r okay are any three propositions here if see here if you are taking the three propositions means if you have to write the first one is four true and four false first we need to take this is only the order of writing the truth table okay we have to write like this only 
okay q after that the second proposition you have to take here 2 times t and 2 times f and 2 times t 2 times f and the third proposition true false true false true false true false you have to take if if you want to take the only two if you are taking only two propositions suppose you are taking only two proposition p and q how to write means p you have to write two times of true and two times of false and q you have to write here true false true false you have to write, take you have you need to write like this okay if you are taking three times proposition three propositions means you have to write p as four times t and four times f after that q two times t and two times f and two times t and two times f and are true false true false true false true false you have to write like this and you will get here a truths okay a truths in each case we will get the a truths okay now we will see the first one first one is what negation negation it is a what is this one it is a negation negation means it is reverse the truth value of a proposition it is a reverse the truth value reverse the truth value means i took here negation of r so it's easy to check this one that's the reason i took here negation of r you can write it negation of p separately you can you can make another one column here now write it negation of p negation of q also okay so yourself so i i shown uh, i showed here only i shown here only r negation of r here true changes to your false false changes to true true changes to your false false changes to your true true changes to false false changes to true true changes to false false changes to true okay next it is a next one is here conjunction conjunction means it is a true if both the propositions are true when it is true when both the propositions are true okay see here p and q p and q it is a both are true then it is true it is a true both are true then it is a true okay otherwise it is a false it is only for p is true and q is false so it is a false p is true q is false so it is a false p is false and q is true so it is a false when it is true when both the propositions are true then only it is true otherwise it is a false only so it is a remaining all are false next is the disjunction disjunction means it is a true if at least one proposition is true at least one proposition is true means it will become a true p or q when it is true at least one here both are true okay then it is true only both are true it is true only at least one is true yes p is true at least one t uh, p is true here that's the that's why it's a true and p at least one is true so p is true here so it is a true here q is true so it is a true here again q is true so it's a true here p and q both are false so it's a false p and q both are false so it's a false okay understood at least or means at least one of the proposition is true means it is it will become true otherwise it's a false both are false means it will false okay next is conditional what is the conditional it is a false only if the first is true and second is false first is true first is true and second is false see here first is true second is not false here so it is a true only first is true second is false no it is a true so that's why it's true first is true second is false then it will come false only this condition only this condition the conditional will come here it will false true false if it is tf tf first one first proposition true second proposition is false means it will come false otherwise uh, rest all are true only it is first proposition is true second proposition is false so this is also false next is f if it is comes uh, first proposition f not need to check also you can write it directly it's a true only okay ft if it is come ft ft means it is a true only ff also it is true only when it is false when t first t after f it will come means it is a false the first proposition should be t and second proposition should be false then it will come false otherwise rest all are easier true only 
Next is biconditional. What is the biconditional? The biconditional is the true if both the propositions have the same value. Both the propositions have same value means if it is both are true, then it is true. Otherwise, both are false, then also it is a true. Okay. Here, the P, I took here uh, P, Q only. I didn't took uh, R because it's difficult to check. That's why I took here P, Q only. P biconditional with Q. Okay. Both are same same value so it's a both are true then it is true both are true it's a true it is both are not same value both having no same va uh, truth value so it is a false it is tf it is came both having no same same truth values so it's a false it's again false again it's again false okay it's a both now it is a ff and both having the same truth value both are false only so it is come true okay again it both having the same truth value false and false so it is a true hope all of you understood this one you practice yourself on two three questions otherwise you write the table on two three times you will come to know okay it's very simple only and here one note is there in a truth table the true we will denote with the t and the false we will denote with the f can also be represented as one or zero respectively that means two we can represent with t otherwise you can represent with one also and false you can represent with the zero okay this numerical representation aligns with the binary logic and commonly used in a computer science and digital circuit this numerical represent aligns with the binary logic in the binary we will use the only two digits that is one and zero so two uh, the, if it is proposition is two it's uh, indicate with the one if it is proposition is false you have to indicate with the zero and commonly used in a computer science and digital circuit also in the digital digital circuit also you will use the numerical representation you in the numerical representation of the truth table means it will come instead of t we have to write one instead of f you have to write here zero that's it okay in the next video you will see the in the next video we will see the converse inverse and contrapositive of the fundamentals of logic and we will uh, see some identities laws also okay thank you and another one thing you still, uh, still didn't uh, subscribe the channel means please subscribe the channel and play, please check the playlist and after this uh, i'm just explaining the concepts of uh, fundamentals of logic lessons and we will solve directly uh, question paper questions only okay thank you